I get you're a redneck, right? <laughs> I get that. All right. Welcome back. We're the bourbon junkies. We're the bourbon junkies. Why are we fidgeting so much? I fidget at the beginning of every video. Dude, I watched the the state. Do you do that like four like times? This is a comfy rest. Rest. Just rest there. No, no, no. You don't let go. No, you do. No, you stretch this and then out let go. and then you set it out. Well, you got to see the packs. Tonight. I'm doing 10 push-ups a day. <laughs> <laughs> we find out, are store picks better than non-store picks? So, I want to add this to the video because I meant for Sean and I to put this in the video, but we forgot. So really quick, a TLDR on what a single barrel or a store pick is. It's when a store gets the opportunity to purchase either a, a blend or a single barrel of whiskey that they chose or they picked out from the distillery, right? So whether you go to the distillery and you pick a barrel of whiskey, usually they'll roll out a few or a handful of barrels for you to try from. Then you can pick one and then they bottle it. And the only whiskey in that bottle, like in this situation, a Buffalo Trace is normally a blended product. In this situation, that these Buffalo Traces from these different stores, each one of those was a single barrel of Buffalo Trace rather than a bunch of different barrels blended together to fit a profile. So store pick is just when a store has the opportunity to buy a single barrel or a blend that they chose. It's just what the store's choosing after they tasted it, right? Hope you enjoy the video. Like, comment, and subscribe while you're here. It's under the video, do the thing. We will do more of these if you guys enjoy them. Thank you for watching. Cheers. Yeah, we're gonna find out. Let's so see. the idea was we grabbed three of our batter store picks off the know. shelf. We don't know. I don't know the last time I've had some of these. So <laughs> we picked ones we thought we liked uh -huh. off the shelf. And then we have a regular non-store pick. We had James come in, pour them blind for us. Yeah. We're gonna run them through and find out where everything kind of lands. These are Buffalo Trace if you guys can't see and you need to hear us say it. Buffalo. Trace. So, um, I'm gonna get these. We're gonna do this standing up because Sean's too tired to sit down. Yeah. If that makes sense. Are you ready? Yeah. Hey. It smells like a little, like a boozy apple juice. Like apple cider, maybe, with a little alcohol in it. A little brisket fat. What? I'm hungry, apparently. And fat. Yeah. Okay. Here's, now here's what I wanna say. If I had that blind, I guess like an E.H. Taylor. That doesn't taste like a Buffalo Trace at all. Watch That's that be so the good. normal Buffalo Trace. Slight bit of grape. Greek jelly. Oh my. I don't know about that, but. What? That's fantastic. It's really well, well, well done. I know this glass is clean. You get that uh, vinegar ethanol on her? No, I would say more like a, a sulfur it's note. Musty. Like there's something a little off on it. Kind I, of... I think it's musty, for real. Think of a firework goes off like Ooh. five minutes later, you're like. <laughs> that smells like the 5th of July. Yeah. Nailed it. It tastes way better than it smells, which is weird. That actually tastes like it's not 90 proof. That's like a nice hundo. Maybe like some lingering oak, but. Man, I, now that I smell it after I drink, it smells better though. Some of the some of the spikiness of it goes away a little bit, but. Stra I like Strawberry Laffy Taffy? On the nose? A little bit. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna move on to C. I don't know why you're taking so long. I would believe this is Barton blind. Ooh. I got like a. I was gonna say Rock Hill. I got green banana a little bit. Green produce. That's a lot of shit. This smell, like the, I like on nose. This smells amazing. There's no finish. It's like not thin, but it just doesn't linger at all. That's the opposite of lingerie if I've ever had it. This is you know what? This is snow pants bourbon. I would really I even on palate. I, I feel like that's a 1792 product. I think it tastes more like Buffalo Trace than it smells, but it's it goes away so immediate. It just is gone. I feel like I'm digging for notes too hard here. Yeah. A and B, comparatively, on um, drinking wise, were drastically More better. Unique, yeah. yeah, way better. All right, D. This smells amazing, this, dude. I just got like caramel. I get cherry and oak. Crazy vanilla. That's what it is. I would say it's a uh, you know classic American. Bro, vanilla. that might be the most like stereotypical whiskey I've ever had in my life. That's like a 1920 of whiskey, but it's a Buffalo Trace store mm -hmm. Cherry, mm -hmm. apple, vanilla. Caramel, sweet, it's got some oak Ooh. in her. It lingers a little bit, not too long, but I mean, $25 that, whiskey. I would say for ride goes, like that has the most going on, yeah. I feel. Like it, it'll be something going back through. Yeah. But there is an, actually an evolution. Yeah. Like there's that cherry, almost maybe like uh, like cobbler up front, mm -hmm. a little bready. I like that and a lot. And then it kind of pushed out into that uh, caramel oak in the end. Yeah. Like that was really, I can't wait for that to be the 
the regular the normal one. one. Yeah. So just had that so thought. As this I was way saying. through. So we haven't had any of the store picks that are in this lineup in months, no. easily in months. Yeah. That way through, immediately sees dead last. For yeah. Me. C and B feel pretty lackluster compared a and D to A and D. For yeah. just I feel like A and D aren't even Buffalo Trace store picks. All right. All right. Quick water break, go back through. Yeah. Right. Oh, you got that straw water like a bitch because you like to see. Pointed directly at your face, you see that? I didn't set up this camera, you did. I know, I'm just, I didn't, hey, hey, are you feeling sensitive? I didn't blame you. Why you get defensive? Because it's late. I've seen <laughs> you too much, apparently. <laughs> All right, D. Oh. Dude, it smells like rich honeycomb to me now. Oh my gosh, that's so good. I don't, can, can, there's a thing that happens when stereotypical bourbon is done incredibly well, well and it's that. It just everything hits right. It's well balanced. It yeah. You, there's it a lot going the, on. You get the caramel. You get the vanilla. You get a little cherry. It's perfectly oak. sweet. There's a nice little ride. That that's what I wish. I hope that is the, the regular Buffalo Trace. And I want to say that's what I hope all bourbon is like. That'd be such a depressing outcome. Walking away and coming back, sea smells a little better. I didn't have a problem with how it smelled. It was so flat when we drank it. I get a little more of that like j jelly. What is that? This smells drastically different than the uh, than D did. We're on C. I don't think we said it. It's like bratty almost That's on the thin nose. As hell. That that is the one that I thought tasted like farting, and it still does. Are you sure they were all Buffalo Trace? Is it water? I swear to God, I can gargle that easier than Listerine. Very, swear to God. Very thin. Um, like you know, how Listerine burns your tongue. You're like, get it out. That one? That seems super off profile for even what we have here. Yeah. Dude, there's something oh, off this in this is, now. Nah, nah, this nah, is nah, the salt so one. Now. Yeah, but now it smells like breakfast. No. Nope. French toast. Cinnamon. But if you threw some of the ash, you you like you're cooking on a like campfire and you threw that that ash in. Oh, I'm now. I'm kind of appreciating the funk a little bit on this one. This is definitely the most off profile pick of all these. That's pretty good. I don't know if it's, it's a lot of great. Tastes like Eagle Rare to me now. I was gonna say, yeah. I bet it would be like an off-profile Eagle Rare. That's what it tastes like. And that's that's why I probably don't like it. I guarantee James poured just, all the, the one bottle in all four of these. They're all normal. James is like, why don't you f***ing idiots get exposed? James makes a video, it's called Exposing the Bourbon Junkies. He gets a ton of views. <clears throat> He's rich as shit, we're Bro. poor. I don't think we said this at the beginning, but our, in our heads, I think that we would think our the outcome would be that the non-store pick would come in last or I think third. So. I'd say third or fourth. Probably. I'd near say, the bottom. I'd I would say, say near the bottom. Even a decent store pick would generally be better than your normal offering. Man, this almost smells young. I would see this almost is the smells one young, I think man. Would be a tailor. Yeah, that's what this is the one I guess was yeah. closer to that. Like it's it's sweeter. It smells grown up. Yeah. It smells put together. It smells like it was thawed out, right? It smells like when they laid it down. They rubbed its belly for a while before they left it alone for years. You know what I mean? All right, I'm set. Okay, they came back to this one and called it good boy over and over type shit. This wasn't really that hard. No. First, last, third, second. Uh, I think I flipped them. I didn't like the funkiness of B. You're an idiot, but it doesn't matter. Um, So there's something idiot. real funky with B. I yeah, but there's enjoy. nothing to C, which is my problem. You know what I'm saying? This is the non-store pick. <laughs> yeah. Right? All so. Right. I, I, okay, I'm gonna just pick this one because I think this is D. Made it up. All right, sounds good, dude. It's A. Oh, we put that in second. Yeah. Okay, dude. <laughs> okay. Okay, there. okay. Okay. Okay, process of eliminating. Now I pick one. Yeah. We're clearly picking this one, not now. <laughs> so far, this is actually sent to us by Ivan Inderlin. This is yeah. a Habersham Crew, barrel number 74, warehouse M, blah, 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 blah. Where's it from? Habersham Crew. There's got to be a state. Right? No, no, it doesn't say it. <laughs> I read the whole thing. B, which I put th third. That's B. Yeah. Okay. You I put, put third, last. and you put it last. Yeah, I did. This is A and B liquor store pick, barrel one fifteen. I would have guessed that they like off profile. And stuff. that's why I like their shit. They like off profile Eagle Rares too. Yeah. So. And I'm a fan of that. Uh huh. Oh, it's either first or last. Yep. This is some Ricky Bobby shit. If you ain't first, you're last. You know what I'm talking about? All right, Steve. you pick that one up. At the same, on the count of three. I have one, the non-store pick. Two. Thank God I was the best at this. Rishi's is D, which C. is first place for both of us. Sean is the dummy. Bro, that's so thin, comparatively. I just didn't like the funky. I, I get that. Of, you yeah, went purely it. based on flavor. Yep. I, I'm the savant, right? So I take everything into consideration. So you purposely 
put the store pick ahead of it, even though it works, right? Is that what you're saying? No, but I like the phone. Yeah. But, okay, I will, now you're weighing flavor, obviously. Yeah. Not, I'm not saying wrong. This is so. completely subjective. You're wearing, you're weighing flavor heavily. Yeah. The, when I, when I get that watery, you're going feeling. flat, yeah. it just ruins the whole thing for me. I'd almost put up with something I don't like over a bad experience, right? For everybody at that home. Funky note. I put the non-store pick dead last. Genius. <laughs> Amazing. And then I put all the store picks above it. Is what that means. Well, we'll keep doing this series if you guys want to see more. We've got a bunch of store picks that we can yeah. do this with. How about Buffalo one Trace. one ending statement? Do you agree yeah. that the non-store picks in the fort?